we, if we look at it, it's very simply we're like any normal telco or utility with a recurring you know, revenue. Roughly 90% of our revenue is recurring. Um, the area that we are focused on is connecting households and businesses to fast internet outside of the fibre footprint. So that is our target market, who is sitting outside the fibre footprint. Um, we get customers through uh, organically uh, and also through acquisitions. Most of our growth is driven by the requirement for faster broadband speeds. We've got um, Ofcom recently publishing a report that in the UK alone there's a million households with speeds being less than 10 meg, and that is replicated in all the countries we're across. Today we're in 30 countries, um, so those 30 countries, you know, people sitting outside the fibre footprint, that's our target market. Aside from the day-to-day, -day, there's three key areas that we're working on at the moment. One is a partnership with Biosat, which is a, a big American operator that is putting a satellite over Europe in 2020. So they've launched an interim service, which is um, pretty good, at speeds of 50 meg. Um, but more importantly, what they're doing is they're funding the actual uh, installation costs and giving robust marketing support to make that happen. So very much working sort of as their bridgehead in Europe for that. Secondly, on the other side of the world, Australia, um, the Australian government nationalised the telecom infrastructure a few years ago and they have a desire to give every single citizen in Australia a, a good quality internet connection, which if you think about the outback uh, and all those areas, some vast um, distances to be covered. So we, we acquired two companies over there a couple of years ago uh, and we're seeing some real stellar growth. We're double digit growth uh, year on year uh, and we're about 40% um, market share of all new connections on satellite over in Australia. Finally, nearer home, um, we are, are two fixed wireless networks, one in the UK, one in Norway, and, and it's growing their footprint. So we are in the UK, for instance, putting up a tower every two weeks. A typical tower has 50 new customers on, so it's growing those footprints. Um, three areas, really, that we're sort of focused in on top of the, the everyday and the mundane. The first thing is, is we all sort of use the same satellites. So if you, if you look across Europe, and most of the targets that we have acquired to date have only ever focused within their own borders. But the satellite doesn't really respect those borders. It, it, it's, it's the footprint that's covered. So it enables us to go into these businesses, buy their customer bases, bolt them on into our, our systems and everything, enabling us to give that, that end user a better experience, us to improve our margins, uh, and to move quite quickly. So we don't have the same issues as if a normal telco where you've got to go along, go to the cabinet, change over files and everything like that. It allows things to happen quickly and well. So since, since we started, um, and certainly since we've been listed um, over the last three years, we've invested heavily in our systems. Um, they're very, very good. They're multilingual, um, you know, multi-currency, um, 30 different VAT rates and everything there. And, and that gives us that ability for one, the customer experience to be very good when, when a customer is, is brought on organically or a customer base is brought on. Great control uh, and visibility of, of everything there. That allows that to happen. Um, and then also we've got a very strong finance team here in the UK. I mean, on our side, if you look at it, we've probably been in due diligence since we listed um, from the listing itself um, BGF fundraisers, further uh, fundraisers, and more recently with HSBC. You know, we ourselves have almost permanently been in DD. But the, the companies that we go out, the targets that we acquire, um, we know them for a long time. It often takes two years to do a deal. So in all that time that you're speaking to them, you really get an understanding of that business before you finally pull the trigger and buy them. I think this is probably the most exciting um, thing for us is um, over the next uh, 12 to 18 months, there's a lot of new satellites that are going up over uh, Europe. Um, the first one is by Utilsat, and then in 2020, you have um, the, the satellite I mentioned earlier from Viasat. And these satellites are not only going to be able to offer a lot faster speeds, so the norm will become 100 meg down, but is the capacity that those satellites have. So it will truly be the sort of 
end or the conquering of the digital divide. You will be able to live anywhere in Europe, have a really fast broadband in, uh, connection, but at the same time have unlimited data packages. And that has, has restrained the, the, the business and sector uh, historically. So it is a fundamental change that is coming. And we can look to see what's happened in America already. They, they, they're about 18 months ahead of us. So we will certainly be ex expecting a substantial um, uptick in numbers. Um, well, what we do see is that there is an awful lot of um, governments introducing subsidies. So whether it's here in the UK, France, Germany, Spain, um, to, to encourage people by 2020 to have speeds of minimum of 25 meg. I do. I mean, the, the scale, the scale of the opportunity. The more customers that we're adding on, it's giving us a better buying power with the satellite operators. So we're seeing that increase in margin there. Uh, and also with the scale comes you know, a reduction in our overhead against that as a percentage of revenue. So um, yes is the answer to that. Yeah, they're, they're very happy with it. Um, it's not just balance sheet. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier, HSBC, very supportive bank. They've just increased our RCF by three and a half million um, very recently. And we've got some great institutional investors as well. We've got BGF, Harwood, um, so yeah, we're a very, very strong position going forward.